The Mackie Thump has undergone multiple changes over the years, but one thing that has remained constant is people's love for this speaker. For many, it's their first venture into the PA system world, and competition is fierce in the budget-powered speaker category, and yet Mackie has consistently delivered an awesome speaker at an affordable price, and I'm really excited to have the newest version right next to me here today. This in particular is the Mackie Thump 212 XT. It's their powered 12 inch speaker and in this version particularly they've added a ton of new features that make it even more feature packed and powerful than before. In this video today I'm going to give you an overview of all the different important specs for this speaker, what comes in the box, my experience using it, changes from the previous version, and then let you know whether or not I think it's worth picking up for yourself. Now if you're new here my name is Jordan, this is the Phase Reviews YouTube channel. If you're a subscriber here welcome back and if it's your first time thank you for being here. I'm going to dive right into the review, but before that, if you're not already, consider becoming a subscriber. It helps the channel grow. Ring the notification bell and leave a comment if you've used a Mackie Thump in the past and if you're excited for this new version. But enough about that, let's dive into taking a look at the Mackie Thump 212 XT. So the first thing I usually do on this channel is an unboxing, but because of how big PA gear is, I can't really unbox it on the table here for you. So I'll overlay a clip of me taking this out of the package. It comes from Mackie, very well protected in foam and cardboard. And inside, apart from the speaker itself, you're gonna find a user manual, which I've got right here. And uh, this is pretty comprehensive. It has a ton of languages and explains all the different features and the buttons and the knobs on the back of the speaker. In addition to that, you're also going to get your IEC cable. I believe this is a six foot, pretty good gauge, uh, pretty standard as far as PA speakers come. And then you have the speaker itself, and that's really all that's in the box. So we're gonna move on from the boxing and we'll talk a little bit about the speaker itself. Now Mackie's motto is built like a tank and they're known for really robust designs. Actually, if you go to their Instagram, you can see a video of them throwing one of their speakers like down a hill and hitting it with a speaker stand and all sorts of crazy stuff. And so um, in addition to looking really nice, it's just, it's built really well. It's a plastic cabinet, uh, but you know, that's kind of the norm in this category. And what that does is makes the speaker very lightweight. It comes in at only 27 pounds, which is, pretty easy for anyone to lug around. As far as the aesthetic, the design of the speaker, you know, Mackie has continued to update these to be more modern and look even better. You've got this really nice flat grill covering the whole front of the speaker with the Mackie logo right there in the center with the tiny green accent, which looks real nice. A little bit of curve off to the side of the grill. And at the bottom, not lit up right now, is a indicator light that can show you whether or not you're getting signal and if you're peaking, and that can be turned on and off. Now, switching to the side, we've got our handle over here. We've got one of those on each side. And what I like about these handles as opposed to the Mackie Thrash, which I reviewed before, and other speakers, is that they're a little bit skinnier. You can get your whole hand around it really easily. There's plenty of space between the handle and the speaker cabinet. It makes putting these on speaker stands a piece of cake. Now, also on the top of the speaker uh, is a little bit of a cutout. I don't know if this is meant to be a handle, but it works really well as one. It's not as comfortable as this, but if you want to kind of carry it by the top, you can. You'll also see these uh, little feet wedges on the side. That is if you want to use this as a monitor on, on its side. You can do either edge. So it doesn't matter. Uh, it's not like a lopsided speaker design. It's very symmetrical and I like that about it. Some speakers, even like high-end ones, kind of have a wedge only on one side and it looks really weird. On the bottom of the speaker, we have our pull mount standard size. It doesn't have a tightening knob, but really you don't need one because it fits in the socket really well. Any wobble you see is the actual stand, not the speaker itself. And it's vertical, it's straight, not tilting one way or the other. So I don't think a, a tightening knob is really needed. Now inside of the speaker, this being the 212, we have a 12 inch woofer and a one inch compression driver up top. One of the updates that the new Thump 212 XT got from the upper end Mackie lines is their waveguide. They pulled this from the high end SRM flagship uh, models. They put a different waveguide in here that helps with dispersion and even frequency response across the listening area. Now inside of the speaker, we've got some updated electronics. Mackie said instead of a whole new amplifier, they've just made tweaks to the past generation to make it more efficient and more powerful. One of the ones that a lot of DJs are gonna notice is that they went from 1300 watts to 1400 watts. In all reality, watts don't matter for volume. But what is important is that this has a max SPL of 120. 
128 dB, which among speakers in this class is fantastic and plenty for the average person to rock a small to mid-sized party. The other spec that's really important to me is the frequency response. This 12 inch woofer will go down to 47 hertz on the low end and up to 20,000 hertz via the tweeter on the top end. They've also made a change to the crossover. They've lowered the crossover point between the woofer and the tweeter to 1.8 kilohertz. This is supposed to provide a smoother response between the two different drivers, an even transition between them. Uh, most tweeters are crossed over a little higher, so there's more of a gap between the two. Mackie says that by lowering the crossover point, you're gonna get a more even response, which comparing this to past thumps that I've heard, it sounds pretty great. Now that's some of the important features of the design of the speaker and the internal amplifier and components, but where a lot of changes to this new version have been made, especially to the XT kind of upgraded model, is here on the back in the mixer section. So I'm gonna zoom the camera in a little bit. We'll take a closer look at what Mackie has done to improve the back section of this speaker. Moving to the back of the speaker, you're gonna notice the control panel. You've got buttons, you've got knobs, you've got ins and outs, but you don't have a screen with a knob. Mackie has chosen to make everything accessible with a single, maybe a double button press. Everything you need is right here. You don't have to navigate through a menu or multiple menus with a single knob. And I like that, especially for someone that's looking to buy their first sound system or just wants ease of use. Having all your controls have individual control buttons and knobs is super nice. Now, starting with features that are shared between the standard Thump 212 and the 212 XT. First of all, we've got our ins and our outs, two XLR quarter inch combo inputs, along with an XLR full strength, uh, full signal output. Each of those channels has their own gain. Channel two also has an aux input right here for plugging in your MP3 player or your external device, backup, whatever you need. And channel one has a line mic button so you can change the sensitivity of this input based on what you are using. You've got your main volume over here and we've got our little signal light right here. This will light up green when you're getting signal and it will go red if you're starting to clip or the limiter is engaging, okay? So those are shared between the regular version and the XT model. Also shared between the two are buttons for music ducking and feedback elimination. So music ducking is something they've added to this new model where if you are talking in a microphone in channel one, whenever channel one re receives signal, the input in channel two, let's say your music, will automatically lower to a level that you can hear channel one. And then when this stops receiving signal, channel two will again come back up. So if you don't wanna bring a mixer, let's say you're doing kind of a background music gig, you can send audio to here, speak into here, let's say you're making an announcement for like a cocktail hour, and after you're done speaking, this will automatically raise the signal level back up. And Mackie has actually put time into thinking about how quick should it fade down, how much should it fade down, how long should it take to fade back in, all of that stuff Mackie's put thought into, and it works really, really seamlessly. Also shared between the two models are feedback elimination. Feedback elimination is really handy. If you've got a microphone, someone's speaking too close to the speaker or pointing the microphone at the speaker itself, people that don't know how to use microphones and you get that annoying squeal from feedback, this will use an algorithm, a built-in program to find the frequency that's feeding back and notch it out of the EQ settings. And it does this multiple times a second. It's constantly analyzing. It knows whether or not it needs to take out more or reduce it so that the sound doesn't sound bad. If the frequency that's feeding back changes, it can choose a new frequency and drop the old one. It's constantly evaluating and it's really powerful and it's really, really cool. Now that's all of the features that are shared between the standard model and the XT. Now looking at features that are unique to this XT kind of upgraded model, we have voicing modes over here on the left. These are your EQ settings, there's four of them, and Mackie's conveniently included down here, I'll show you when I pan the camera down, four little graphs that show you what each of these do. But they're similar to other speaker manufacturers on that. We've got music mode, live, club, and monitor. Music is just kind of your direct signal, they don't really change anything, I think that's just the, the direct unchanged signal in. Live gives you a little more mid-range and cuts off the bass a little uh, higher than in music mode. Club will give you extended low end and a little bump in the mids and the highs. And then your monitor settings are specifically tailored if you've got this sitting on the ground as a wedge, it will make sure that you have less feedback and that it sounds good, okay? You just access those by cycling through the different uh, modes with this button right here. Now, outdoor mode is something that's uh, on this XT model. And you know, if you've ever used a, a PA speaker indoors and then you take it outside, you don't have walls and floors re and ceilings reinforcing the sound. And so outdoor mode kind of 
reintroduces some of that energy that's lost when you take a speaker, you know, free filled outside where you don't have any um, barriers to reflect the sound. Okay, so outdoor mode just kind of adds a little presence back to the speaker. We also have a switch for the front LED. So if you don't want the LED on the front lighting up, you're in a, a more reserved setting, a more intimate, you know, um, fancy luxury setting, you don't want that lighting up, you can turn it off with that. And then we've got Bluetooth right above channel two right here. And that's another big feature of the 212 XT. Uh, you're able to not only pair this speaker to your phone, which is very seamless, but you also can link this speaker to another thump speaker and pair them so that they reproduce signal without any cables between them. So super handy. Again, for either backup, I don't think you should rely on Bluetooth for your main sound at a gig, but for backup uh, or for background music type things, it's a great option. Now, panning the camera down a little bit, these are the graphs that I was mentioning earlier. If you forget what each of the voicing modes does, you can see kind of a rough uh, estimate of what the EQ will be. And then you've just got your power switch and your IEC power input at the bottom right there. And that's your back panel of the speaker. So as you can see, a lot of cool additions to the back of the Thump speaker. Now, I'm gonna do a sound demo just because people wanna hear it on YouTube. In all honesty, I think you should go audition these in person. By the time it comes through my microphone and gets edited in my software and uploaded to YouTube and compressed and comes out your earbuds, it's not gonna sound the, the same, but people like it, so we'll do it. Okay, I'm gonna get started with the sound demo in just a moment, but before I do that, I did wanna highlight the Mackie Connect 2 app. If you have the XT versions of the Thump with Bluetooth connectivity, you can use this app to control a lot of the parameters wirelessly without having to go around to the back of the speaker. And what's nice is you can actually play your music while you're using the control app. So if I start a track here and bring up channel two, which is Bluetooth, you'll start to hear the music come in. Little bit of a delay when you first kind of switch from music control to the control app, but after that, very responsive. We've also got our main volume over here. You can bring down. There we go. A little bit of a little bit of lag. You know that's kind of expected with Bluetooth. And then you've also got a mute button and an unmute button. Okay. Uh, you can also turn on and off outdoor mode on the app right here, and you can change the speaker voicing, music, live, club, monitor, whatever you want within the app. In the advanced section, you can do things like turn the LED, the front LED, on and off. So I can switch that on and off. You can automatically link the speakers via Bluetooth, uh, turn on and off feedback elimination and music ducking, and even set a custom EQ. So it's got pretty much all the settings you would have on the back of the speaker, just on uh, the app itself, which is super handy. All right, everybody, so it's time to do the sound demo. Uh, I've got the speaker set up probably about 20 feet away. I'm zoomed in so that you can kind of see it up close. I've got my handy Tascam right here for recording. And I've also got a microphone so we can test the music ducking capability. So I'm gonna just throw on a royalty-free track here and we'll start with testing the auto ducking capability of the speaker. So if I talk into the microphone on channel one, check one, two, check one, two, you can see that it automatically lowers the volume of the speaker and then when I stop talking, the music comes back. Again, I'm gonna talk into the microphone. You can hear that the music is still present but it's a lot quieter and when I stop talking, So that's a quick test of the auto ducking, okay? Just so you could hear that. But what I'm gonna do now is give you the actual sound demo of the speaker. So there is your quick sound demo. Again, I would go listen to these in person, but what really matters most is how they perform at an event. In the time that I've had them, I've been able to take them to a couple different parties. Most recently, a community gathering, trunk or treat kind of Halloween event with a good sized crowd. I'll overlay that footage right now. 
I used them indoors first, didn't need to really crank the volume at all here. There was plenty of output for the crowd. I had them spaced out, so I got a really even response. Put them in club mode for a little more of that low end reinforcement. And when I used the vocal, uh, the microphone for vocals, I had very clear speech reproduction, no sweat at all. Thanks to the ducking, did not need a separate mixer for the speakers. Now, after using them indoors, I was able to take them out to the parking lot for the trunk or treat portion of the night and they had great sound out there. We upped the volume just a little bit and I was able to engage the outdoor mode and got a little more of that fullness that you experience inside when you have walls uh, to kind of amplify the sound. All in all, I'm very happy with these. There's plenty of power, like I said, for anyone to do any sort of small to medium sized gig. Um, you're not gonna maybe rock a giant school dance with some of these. I'd step up to one of Mackie's bigger, bigger lines, but for average mobile DJ work, you could do a wedding reception with these. You could do birthday parties with these. You could do fashion shows and car shows and all the normal mobile DJ gigs. Now, if you want that low end sub bass, I would definitely add a woofer. No 12 inch speaker really reproduces the low end that well. Club mode does pretty good on these, but for a big party situation, just add the either the thump sub or one of their higher lines. Uh, it really makes a big difference. And the subs in the thump series are made to work well with these right out of the box. They've got a crossover that makes the kind of a three-way speaker scenario between the sub, the woofer, and the tweeter, and you're just gonna get beautiful sound. You know, Mackie, when you use their product lines, it's integrated and you're gonna get good results. So there you have it. That is a look at the new Mackie Thump. 212 XT. Now, the XT version, I've mentioned this before, this is an upgraded model. They make a plain Thump 212 that you lose a few of the features, um, but if you're not looking for those features specifically, but you still want a, a speaker that performs well and looks good while doing it, you can grab the regular Thump model. I'm pretty happy with the XT version. I think the voicing modes uh, and the fly points and things like that are worth the additional moolah, but that's gonna be for you to decide. So if you wanna grab one of these for yourself, I'll include links down in the description buy through there, support the channel. I would of course love you for it. And if you're not a subscriber already, consider becoming one. You don't wanna miss all the tech reviews that are coming out. Ringing the notification bell, leaving a comment, liking the video, all those help me to continue bringing you content. But that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.